This is clasping twisted stalk. It's a perennial herb that grows in moist forests, along stream banks, and in avalanche tracks from low to subalpine elevations. Its family is Liliaceae, the lily family, and its scientific name is Streptopus amplexifolius. Clasping twisted stalk grows from one half to one meter tall, although sometimes taller. It's branched and sometimes zigzagging at the leaf nodes. The leaves are oval and five to 14 centimeters long. They're clasping at the base. That means the base of the leaf wraps around the stem. That's where it gets its common name. They're hairless beneath and the margins sometimes have irregular teeth. It has greenish white bell-shaped flowers that hang individually or in pairs from a kinked stalk in the leaf axle. The fruit are yellowish red to purple oblong-shaped berries. Here you can see the kinked stems that the berries are attached to. When young, clasping twisted stalk can resemble Indian hellebore, one of the most poisonous plants in our region. It can be easily confused with a number of similar lilies when non-reproductive, including false Solomon seal or star-flowered false Solomon seal. The key is that those species are unbranched and the leaves don't clasp. You could also mistake it for rosy twisted stalk, but that's also typically unbranched with leaves that are shiny beneath and have irregular hairs on the margin. Rosy twisted stalk also has pink flowers born on curved stems instead of white flowers on kinked stems. Lastly, it looks similar to Hooker's fairy bells, which also has branched stems and slightly clasping leaves. The key difference is that Hooker's fairy bells has its flowers at the branch tips, and it has hairs on the upper leaf surface and along the stem. That is a lot of look-alike plants, so in summary, the key characteristics of clasping twisted stalk are its clasping leaves, branched stems, and flowers or fruit on kinked stems originating in the leaf axles. The soil moisture regime is medium to wet, and the soil nutrient regime is rich.